this is exercise 3.17 pad string. So let's read the, instru the instructions. So they want a method called pad string that takes in two parameters, a string and an integer. And basically what they want us to do is add spaces to the beginning of the string until length of the whole string is the same as the integer we input. And otherwise, if the if it's already long enough, we can just return the whole string. So let's get started. We'll do public string pad string. And then our input, so our first one will be a string. I'll call that s. And then we need an integer. I'll call that i. Actually, I'll call that a. All right. So first, when you figure out how much padding we need, like a uh, number, so we'll do int padding is equal to, and we don't want a negative padding in case the number they give us is less than the size of this string. So we'll do math a max of zero, and a minus dot length. So that will give us how much uh, space we need. And then now we can start building our string. So first to do, to actually make the spaces, we're going to need a loop. So for that, I'm going to make a variable. And that will be a string called spaces. And we'll initialize this to a empty string. And then now we just run a for loop for each num for the length of padding. And then we just add spaces. Alright, and then we'll just do um, spaces equals space, spaces plus um, a string, that's a space. Alright, and then now we have our spaces, all we need to do is combine it, so we will return, um, actually we can make a final answer, so string answer is equal to spaces concatenated with our original string. And then we return answer. All right, there you go.